Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1096, where we have 50 moves to clear out 52 jelly. Alright, so I've got five layer thick frosting, I've got cutouts, I've got conveyor belts. So I've got these little 3x3 three three grids, just barely enough room to make something happen. Um, and I don't think that exiting and coming back in is going to change much because there's just not enough room to make a whole bunch of cool things. So let's just go with what we've got and try our best to look at each opportunity and see which one fits best with our needs. So I can make this or I can make this. This is just a single area instead of a three by three. So I'm going to do this. That's the choice I'll make for now. But I do want to get through these little areas as quickly as possible. And also, this is on a conveyor belt. This sticks around. When it's stationary, then I've got time to make that move. Uh, here, I'm going to make this. And it also hits both of these at once. Oh, this didn't stay around, though, because of the portal system. I'd like to keep hitting the same frosting over and over to really clear it out. Oh, and we get ticking time bombs. But I don't always, of course, have that opportunity to keep working in the same spot. I only had one move there. There, now we've got this open, and it's actually going to be able to be easier to hit this and this now that this is open. There's just more communication, more ability to pair things up, set things together. But I'm still going to be looking in this area. Oh, and see how things slide? That's interesting to note. I can do this or I can do this. I'm going to do this because I'm almost through here. Now I'll do this. Nope, now I'll do this. Now I'll do this. I think the key is just looking at each opportunity. It's funny that, well, this is against gravity, but it is funny that this is so easily cleared out and this hasn't moved at all up until I was saying it because it needed to prove me wrong. Okay, so this is the tough one here. Ooh, look at that. I shall take it. Now I could take out all blue from the board. It would help here. I could take out all orange. I've got a ticking time bomb. I'm not too worried about that, but I also have orange here. I'm going to hold off just a bit. I can't move here or here. I don't want to wait too long because I like the idea of concentrating the colors. But if I could get a blue up here, which looks like it should happen soon, or get a, ooh, a special. Now I don't know that I need a blue up there. That's clearing out pretty easily. I think that this is my only move. Orange, blue, or purple. Purple would take out this and take out this and maybe tighten things up here. Blue would take out this. I don't know, I'm, li I'm liking purple more and more now. Orange would remove this, set this off. I don't know that I want this set off yet. I'm going to go purple because I think I can get rid of this without a problem. Ah, oh, stink. That was going to be so perfect there for a moment. Okay. I know, I still have that to worry about, and things could change, make it difficult. But I think I'm doing quite well on this board, so I'm trying not to worry too much. I think it's time to do that. Perfect. I still have that guy to worry about. Maybe I can get a green down here. No. Ooh, not bad. Even better. Okay, so now I'm kind of playing cleanup. Looking around at all of the different things I can do, which one is best. I still have that to worry about. I might be able to slide this on here and take that out. I like moving this, though. Oh, look at this. Perfect. We cleared that out. I 
take out a double thick double thick one two three four five six where am I missing one one two three four five six seven I didn't see that one every once in a while it's important to take stock you don't want to think that you've beaten the level and then find you still have a lot of work to do hmm. I want to change what's happening here and I can't so I have to get close to there there's that one gone and that was in a tight spot and there are a couple more gone Okay, I need to change what's happening here. And what's happening here, what can I bring down? Actually, let's do this. I'm going to take out the red as this goes through. Change that up a bit. There we go. There's that one done. So one more area. Ooh, if I could just get those guys. If I could get an orange here. What if I take out all of this? Would it bring any red through? I don't see any red to show up. So close. Have to make this work. I'm going to hold on to that for a bit. Take one of the only other moves available. Now, how can I slide that down? No. Oh, good. Here we go. Totally different. One of the only moves available means a reshuffle. So that's how I beat this level. A little bit of luck and a little bit of persistence on trying to get to the areas that um, I wanted to open I wanted to get to to open things up, but then also really paying attention to each move that I had, especially in the beginning, making sure that it was the best possible choice. That was my first try. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.